Here we are, Greg, back in the kitchen. I've said this to you three or four times now. It's the same place we always do everything. We've just took the pictures down. I know, but I like to think of it as the kitchen on a tea and toast kitchen Monday. Right. Would you like to know what we're making today? Well, I know. Shall I tell them? You tell them. Today, we are making today. chocolate tarmac or concrete. Depends where you're from. With? Pink custard. <laughs> That's right, Greg. We're taking everybody back to their school days. School cooking, isn't it, this week? School dinners. And um, we've been that lazy this week. We haven't even took the chairs out. No, we haven't. But this is a quicker recipe this week that you are really going to want to make. If you loved school dinners in the 80s, especially school puddings, then you are going to want to make this one. Going to want to. Going to want to. So, Greg, what we've got here Sad. is our ingredients. And what you're going to need for this... <laughs> You've tried to be a professional, haven't you, Dave? <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay. Is you're going to need 200 grams of plain flour. I think next time we do need to get um, aprons yes, and the hats on. I agree. we'd look a bit like tea and toast presenters. Yeah. 200 grams of plain flour. 200 grams of sugar. Well, you would go for that one, 50 grams of cocoa powder. Do you have the bowls? Yes. Yeah, Special, aren't they? You cannot use drinking chocolate for this. I have made it with drinking chocolate and it doesn't work. 50 grams of cocoa powder. What you need to do, Greg, is you need to pour those ingredients into your mixing bowl. That's it. Any order? Just whatever you like. Got some washing up to do, Jase. Now, using your fingers, mix all that together. I've got to use my fingers. I have washed them. Oh, of course you have, this is a cooking show. Greg. Yeah, just just making them clear that I have washed them. I have not, at any point in the last three minutes, been to the toilet. So, once you've given that a lovely, lovely mix, so. you're going to need 100 grams of butter. Not margarine, Greg. Butter. If you're going to tell me, Jason, that you're going to pour that in here and I'm going to have to mix it... What you're it, going to need is you're going to need to melt the butter in your microwave before you add it to your ingredient to your dry ingredients then you're going to pour the butter into the dry ingredients like that and continue mixing it that's just not on is it fingers. you didn't say that did you, Off you go. i've got all my, I've got my wedding ring on and everything you're here. usually complaining that you it's hot <laughs> you didn't tell me it was hot <laughs> why don't you fold some things into it oh. it's it's not hot it's, it's just burning warm, greg and give that a lovely 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 mix Oh, it's quite soothing. I must say, it doesn't look very appetising at the moment. Very, very appetising. It doesn't look very appetising. I mean, look. You should have told me. I wish we'd got a... What would you call it? One of them things? Spatula. Yeah. You just rhyme my nails and everything. You need to do with your hands, though, don't you? To get the crumb... crumb, crumb. That texture there. It just would have been nice just to be able to not do that because that's just me trying to make So now you have mixed your mixture into that crumbly texture, Greg. Mm -hmm. We're going to need to get it into a baking tray. We've got a baking, baking tray. tray. Greased. I have indeed. There we go. So if you can press that into there, Greg, that would be great. No. What do you mean no? I've just spent 20 minutes getting it out of my fingers. I suppose you want me to do it? Yes. Fine. Go on, that's it, yeah. Good. Don't forget, Jason, get your fingers in there. Uh oh, it seems to be stuck there, doesn't it? You said we didn't have one of them. Jason. Just found it, Greg. You said we didn't have one, that's why I had to use my fingers, Jason. No, you have to use your fingers, because that's what you have to do, because it helps with the, the mixing of the... So once you've got all your mixture in there... Once you've got all your mixture in there, you're going to want to level it all out in your greased baking tray. You're going to want to level it all out in your greased baking tray. And get a nice even coating all the way around. All the way around. I think I've got a better um, cooking voice than you, Jason. A cooking voice? Well, you say it and I'll do it in a delightful way. Come on. So, as you can see, 
I've now spread out the mixture. So as you can see, I've spread out all the mixture. You don't want it too smooth on top. You don't want it smooth on. This is getting a bit rude, isn't it? Yeah. So, so, how do you make pink custard? Yeah, before I tell you that, hmm. our tarmac is now in the oven. Our preheated oven. 180 degrees C or gas mark for 20 minutes. It's there, Jason. Shh. I haven't put it in yet. Anyway, we're going to make some pink custard, Greg. Right. Tell me, Jason. It's still there, though. Shh. How do you make pink custard? Well, Greg, mm. let me tell you there's going to be lots of people leaving, there's going to be lo leaving lots of people. comments and stuff and saying, that's not real custard. No, it's not. We're cheating a little bit, Greg. Because we are making our pink custard with... Blumange. Do you remember that? Yeah, but it's not custard, is it? No, but it's like custard. So we need the raspberry flavoured custard, Greg. There's the raspberry flavoured one. There it is. Can you put that in there? I'll get all the great jobs on Tea and Toast Kitchen, don't I? I can't do it, Jason. I can't do it, Jason. I've done it. Right. Now what we're going to do is you're going to need a pint of milk for this as well. We're going to add, can never get into these, can you? Well, it's just a carton of milk. Now we're going to add a little bit of milk there. Do you want me to stir? Yeah. And what you're doing, Greg, is you're going to try and make that into a paste. Keep stirring, Greg. You right there, Greg? Well, what do you want me to do? I'm having a rest. Well, what do I do now? Well, now that you've mixed this with our initial little bit of milk and the blancmange powder, into a paste, although we probably added a spot too much milk. Um, we're just going to warm that up on the hob. Then we're going to add the rest of our milk, Greg, gradually, and stir it in so that uh, it doesn't get any lumps. And you don't want to leave this and go off and make a cup of tea or anything because it catches on the pan. What do you mean it catches? You'll have burnt custard catch on the bottom of the pan, Greg. I mean, it's top-notch, isn't it? This? Oh, you've got to stand up and smell this, though, Greg. What? Because my nose doesn't reach that far? Can you um, start adding some more milk? Yes, I can, yeah. That's fine, thank you. I can't smell anything. there Greg there's only one thing left to do what I should say is I added some sugar to the custard the taste right that's what you need to do it's yeah. fine yeah now you need to add some sugar over the top of there sprinkle fingers. it on Greg fingers all sprinkle it on all fingers just, oh really okay I'm not just gonna make a mess everywhere it's great oh. oh it does look like the school thing now doesn't it well better than the school actually you need quite a bit of this don't you Now all we need, Greg? I'm still keen starving. Is a bowl each. A bowl? Yeah. Or a plate, however you would like to serve. Yeah, I've got them for you, mate. I've got them already earlier. I've got your little plate. There you go. And here. Let's get cut in. Just a little piece for me then. Oh, that's all you need, isn't it? Do you want me to do it in squares? Yeah, just like school. That's ah! That's hot, Greg. Yeah, I know that now. Well, there it goes, Greg. Well, I'm back at school. I can't believe it. We've pulled it off again. How have we done this? You've got to make this. We're making? I mean, that is incredible. How have we done this? <laughs> how have we done this? We're not even cooks. How have we... How have we you know what? Cooks. Oh, cook. Right. Well, I'm gobsmacked, mate. I really am. Well, whilst we eat the rest of this... Can't believe it. We'll see you again on Wednesday for Tea and Toast Extra. Oh, if only I'd taste a vision.
Taster Vision. <laughs> 